morning and welcome to the first episode of Morning Delight. This is kind of a sneak preview to the rest of the episodes that you're going to be seeing throughout this season. But um, I just want to introduce myself, Emily Arnone. Kevin Dunn. And Lindsay Gonsarowski. So um, as this is going to be a sneak preview, guys, yeah. this is going to be like a short little snippet of what you're going to see. Um, and we're just going to talk about just upcoming things we've been hearing on campus. Yeah. And like, yeah. What, do you, what have you guys been hearing? Uh, you know, Halloween, Halloween obviously is a big topic. Yeah, definitely. I'm yeah. excited I mean, for Halloween. Among all the stress and the boring midterm talk, yeah, oh. Halloween's a big one. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Costumes together. Yeah, it comes at the good time, though. I mean, you have the midterms, and you kind of just, you're all stressed out, mm -hmm. but then once you kind of get those out of the way, you know, Halloween's right around. I don't know about you guys, but I've been looking forward to it since August, planning my outfits. Oh, honestly. You got anything good, Kev? Uh, yeah, I got a couple ideas. I mean, Halloween, uh... It's a whole weekend, not just one night, am I right? Of course. So, I mean, it's a right have, tradition. You have this to have a couple tradition. different costumes, right? Start you have Thursday. a plan, I feel like, yeah. Yeah, so, so one night, um, have you guys seen the YouTube video of the, the little kid that likes turtles? Oh, my I God. Have. Yeah. That's I like turtles. That's yeah. hysterical. Yeah, I think I was going to dress up as him. Uh, wow. Yeah. Ambitious. I know. And then the other night, um, <laughs> the situation, I was thinking. Hey. I mean, Two if you different spectrums, if you put I like it. Yeah, yeah, so something like that. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. Well, how about you guys? I don't know. I'm really undecided. I need to like get on that. Yeah. I don't know. My uh, roommates think. across the hall. Well, I'm in one suite, and we got the um, other girls across the hall that we're right. pretty good friends with. They're gonna be Spice Girls. Ooh, that's I good. was there a few years ago. Been there, done that. Sporty yeah. Spice. You know. Yeah. But yeah, I oh, might yeah. be stealing a uh, friend of mine, Justin, as you probably yep. both know her. Okay. Captain Morgan, she was freshman year, stealing it. She was Captain Morgan. She's gonna be friendly Captain enough Morgan. to bring it back. Pretty wow. expensive that's costume lovely. too. Bless her. Nice. You know, if you can't think of a costume, I'm just thinking maybe you should get like a gorilla suit. I might. You just I might. On camps like I a might gorilla. Do that. So, Probably. Yeah. Actually, my roommate has a referee costume, so oh, I, might, okay. I might try to do that. I don't I know. Like a referee gorilla. Ah, we could. We could do what? that. I do too. You have a referee costume we, too. We might have to do. It I together. mean, we could do that together. How about, right. and I'll get a referee costume. Maybe all right. we'll all just dress up Done. as referees. <laughs> I like it. You know what though? Did you guys know that Halloween weekend is the same weekend as? Parents and family weekend? I don't know how I feel about it. How do you guys oh, feel about unfortunately. that? Unfortunately. People were rebelling like via Facebook all summer. They were like, really? once they found out they were just ridiculous. It's nothing I guess you can change at this yeah. point. You know, it's already publicized everywhere, but that's just gonna be hard. I'm, I'm afraid of like the reputation that might give us, but yeah. who doesn't go out on Halloween, you know? Right. I don't think parents would be mad if they found out their kids went out. And they're not gonna be here like when we do. Right. Yeah, so, they're not coming know, Saturday be... night, right? Yeah. <laughs> might be entertaining. Right. Yeah. Maybe they'll relive their own college stories. Maybe they'll come for the show. I mean, I Who feel knows? like they, they made it the same weekend to kind of like tone down, maybe like try and like persuade kids to not yeah. kind of go as wild as much, but mm -hmm. I think that's not going to slow down anything. Hey, you know it what? It might be yeah. an even better time because family weekend, not just parents. So all the brothers and sisters coming out. Right, little children, like yeah. Might be fun. <laughs> <laughs> maybe some some legit trick or treating. I mean, we could do maybe candy. Could. just some candy. Yeah, maybe. Do you guys think it'll um oust around the world? What do you think? Which um, will be more fun? No. You know what? Um, very different, but I predict a tie and the level dead tie? of exciting. A dead tie. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's exciting. Like around the world's exciting. Yeah. For. Because when we come mm -hmm. back, everyone, it's like good to see each other. Yeah, that's very true. And you, you get to hop around, too. Halloween, there might be a few good parties, but I don't think everyone really is welcome at every townhouse quite. But during Around the World, you don't get to see Emily dress up like a gorilla referee. So, yeah. like, that's where, I mean, yeah. that's where you that's start thinking about pros and cons of both wow. weekends, you know, so. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Not every day you see that, so. Yeah, yeah it's true. So what about midterms, guys? How do you feel about that? Are you done, or are you, like, still going through oh, that boy. stress? You know, I got a couple more this week, mm -hmm. uh, LCS one, um, mm. but I think I got my, my difficult ones out of the way, so just kind of smooth sailing now, you know. Yeah, good. I have one tomorrow, and then one the next day, and then okay. I'm good for a while, so. There you go. There you go. Yeah. It's just not too bad. Right now. Yeah. What can you do, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, looking forward to, to, you know, Halloween and everything. It's a good stress reliever, but... I have a surprise type thing, of course. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm looking definitely. forward to, though? Morning Delight. I know. That's yeah. what I'm looking forward to. Definitely. It's going to be an awesome, awesome year and filled with great episodes. Yep. And, um, Absolutely. I think that's all the time we have, though. Yeah, yeah, so, I think so. All right. Um, well, looking forward to seeing you guys and keep watching for more. This is a sneak peek mm. of what you're going to be seeing all year. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. keep, stay tuned. Stay tuned.
Good morning, Bryant. This is In Case You Missed It. I'm Allie. I'm Matt. And I'm Angie. For our first story this morning, all but two of 33 miners were rescued earlier this week in Chile after more than two months underground. The mine collapsed on August 5th, and the workers spent 17 days before they were able to establish their first contact with the outside world. Three of the miners arrived late Thursday to joyous homecomings following their release from the hospital, and all are expected home by Sunday. Via Roel, the 28th miner rescued, said, I think the worst thing is to pass three, four, five days without food, to know that there might not be any future. He also admitted that by the time they were rescued, he had lost 27 pounds. Health officials say the post-traumatic stress that the men encounter, will encounter, is almost impossible to predict. In a new study, the Nielsen Company analyzed cell phone bills of 60,000 people. They reported back that although the use of text messaging by adults is on the rise, it is nowhere near the levels of texting by American teens. The average 13 to 17 year old sends and receives 3,339 text messages a month and averages 100 texts a day. Adults ages 45 to 54 send and receive 323 text messages a month, which is up from 75% only a year ago. Some people credit texting's popularity to the relatively low cost of it. The average price for unlimiting text messaging and multimedia packages is $25 a month. Last year alone, Americans sent 1.8 trillion SMS messages, which just includes, include text, and 56.3 billion MMS messages, which include pictures and videos. Virgin Galactic, a partner to Virgin Airlines, getting close to providing commercial travel in outer space. CEO Richard Branson said Monday that Virgin had successfully completed a test flight on their new spaceship. The ship is called the VSS Enterprise and flies at 60,000 feet. It fires rockets to propel itself into space. The company says it have already, has already received deposits totaling $50 million from customers who want to fly in outer space. Future operations will run out of New Mexico's Spaceport America, where final preparations are being made for the first commercial flights. The inauguration ceremony will be on October 22nd. All right, so big in the news. T.I. is going back to jail. Tell me about it, Matt. Yeah, he was, uh, he was pulled over Monday night by Atlanta police uh, with a substance in his car that was identified to be ecstasy. Uh, he and his wife were driving on the highway right outside Atlanta. And this is, keep in mind, this is very shortly after he was released um, on felony gun charges which he spent over a year in prison for. Wasn't he on probation? When he was happened? on probation. Yeah. And this is also, last Friday, he um, supposedly, accidentally, was just walking along the street <laughs> and bumped into some Atlanta police who were trying to talk down a man from committing suicide. And apparently T.I. Oh, yeah. um, I heard about this. T.I. was the only, only one able to talk this guy down from, from this building ledge. A lot of people think it was a, uh, a hoax, something set up for T.I.'s own benefit oh. to make himself look good. And yeah. then just a few days after the stunt, he's pulled over with ecstasy, and now he's going back to jail for 11, 11 months. 11 months, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I read that it, when he went back to court, he tried to use that saving the guy's life yeah. and saying that he had a drug problem and that he would like prefer to go to rehab. Mm -hmm. Trying to get him out of going back to prison? Right. Class ETA. Yeah, the judge was, was not very sympathetic to yeah. the... Uh, I, don't, I don't see why. The whole talking down of the man. <laughs> I guess that wasn't enough to keep T.I. out of prison again. Do you Fair think enough. that that really was a hoax? I do. I don't. Really? I don't. I mean, I don't know that much about Ti, but I don't. <laughs> I don't think he has very good, like, <laughs> police skills, or um, I don't know what you call those people. people and talk. why would Ti be able to talk him down instead of the police? Maybe he's a big. Maybe he's a big Ti fan. Well, if he was like really <laughs> convincing. Know. That's okay. true. I mean, I guess so. But again, the judge did not think that was enough to keep him out of prison. T.I. Going, going back, back to jail for obsession of ecstasy for 11 months. That's going to do it for In Case You Missed It this morning. I'm Matt. I'm Angie. And I'm Allie. Good morning, Brian. I'm Aaron. I'm Dylan. And I'm John. And this is the Two Guys and a Girl segment. October is a busy and exciting month, but it's also important to remember it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. One out of every eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime, and every 13 minutes, one woman will die of the disease. Don't forget, men can get breast cancer too, and over 2,000 men will be diagnosed this year. We went to homecoming in Waterfire Providence to see some of the things Bryant students and members of the community are doing to combat cancer. These are just a few of the things being done locally in the fight against cancer. We'll see you next week. 
I appreciate you uh, watching the sneak preview episode of Morning Delight. We hope you enjoyed it, and uh, make sure to tune in every Wednesday for a new episode. Uh, that's Wednesdays on Channel 68 at 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. We are the panel, and thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you next week. <laughs> Bye, guys.